thank you for inviting me. My name is Martin Saint. I'm from Carnegie Mellon University, which is a U.S. institution, but we have an Africa campus, and I've been there for the last 10 years. I'm Distinguished Service Professor and Director of Academics. So if you think about Africa, over a billion people, and they have certain challenges. I think one of the biggest ones is lack of trust. And studies have shown that trust in society leads to society advancing more quickly and better quality of life for the people in society. Blockchain has the ability to bring trust to parts of society where that wasn't possible before. And if you think about uh, more developed countries, there are institutions, governments, uh, large corporations, and so forth, and they are often, in Africa, less trustworthy, less reliable. So blockchain really has the ability to bring that kind of trust and the kind of transparency that lead to advancements in society and the development of society. So uh, some examples of that, you might think about uh, even elections or just uh, is the money in my bank account safe and well accounted for. Another uh, example is digital identity. There are over a billion people in the world, many of them in Africa, that have no legal identity. And this locks them out of the traditional financial system, banking system, it locks them out of travel, it locks them out of health care, it locks them out of loans. And something like blockchain has the ability to provide an infrastructure that helps to address these problems. And the needs are particularly great in Africa. So some of them are obvious. So if blockchain is a mechanism by which you can solve problems and improve society, you need people that understand the capabilities of blockchain and are able to implement solutions on that blockchain. So education of these people is very important so that they understand how to do these things. But maybe in the larger sense, if we think about impact and we think about the fact that you want to make a positive difference in the world, then blockchain education becomes really important because you're training not only people that know how to do something, but that can train others. And some of these people, they may not be developers themselves. They might actually go on to be educators or professors or start companies that employ people. And when, uh, when we have that kind of multiplicative effect, it's almost like a stone in a pond. You can educate students, and they become the, the stone that creates the initial ripples. And those ripples expand, and then you have impact. So obviously, uh, they've been kind enough to provide some funding for research activities and for educational activities. And that allows us to involve more students. And that allows us to directly address perhaps some challenges, like uh, improving regulation to help blockchain adoption. So those are some pretty obvious ways. But one of the other big things that the ACE program enables is communities. And it means that we are in touch with other universities and students that are doing cool things on the blockchain. And we can kind of learn from what they're doing and they can learn from what we're doing. We can share our experiences. And together, we contribute. And together, we make a lot more progress than we would if we were all working in a siloed manner. Well, I'm really happy that uh, we have the opportunity to participate in the ACE program. And participation means some things like this really great conference. And uh, I've actually, I was invited to an Ethereum event uh, that was partially co-sponsored by Algorand and had a lot of developers in Kenya. So I got to meet some new people there. I was up at their uh, developer conference in Dubai in December. 
So because of the introductions that Algorand has made, I've actually already had an opportunity to meet a lot of people, not just in education, but that are creating companies in the space that are working in development and are trying to do cool things on the blockchain. And it's just really exciting to be part of building that ecosystem. So it's, uh, it's really been great, the, the kind of opportunities that Algorand's been presenting.